And just like that, the final episode of the recording session has begun. Welcome back to... Uh, Mega Breaks with Always Sometimes Monsters. I think I was about to say it'll do or something like that. I don't even know. But anyway, when we last left off, we uh, were writing a story for... Um, we're reporting on the local movie theater operation that just opened up. So let's go and continue. So like I said in the previous episode, uh, it's been a... Let's see, this should go up on Monday, assuming that everything goes according to plan. So, that means that, you know, it's been two days, three days, I guess, well, if, three days if you're including today, but a few days since the previous episode, so just to refresh you guys, I'm trying to go for an option that, I'm trying to go for the option that's the most clean cut. I don't want to tr create too much bias for or against the company, so let's gonna continue. Now, we're, now we are working on our conclusion. 30 Theaters is good for Dubstown. Brings jobs to that town, upsets vocal minority. I don't like that. Is it good for Dubstown? I'm not quite sure. Is it, does it upset the vocal minority? I'm not quite sure if they're a, if they're a minority or not. So, we'll just go with this. We do know that it is bringing jobs. We can say that for a fact. The planned construction of the new Sunny Megaplex will bring many new jobs to Dubstown, including a sizable number dedicate, dedicated to the building of ma to the building and maintenance. That should leave people feeling happy about the development. Well, I guess that's about it for the story. I should file this and file this and then go to bed. It's starting to get late. I can rewrite it, but let's go and let's go ahead and file it. Some damn fine work. Pat is going to love it. I should find myself some food while I can. Don't want to walk around in an empty stomach. We already have some food, actually. Um, yeah, we already have some food, though. Um, items. Leftover stew. I want to save this for a pinch. I feel like this is going to be too much, too good to use syndrome. Let's eat the sandwich. Oh, that gave me nothing. Okay, let's eat one of these. Yo, how much food do we need, man? That was a full meal. He has, like, no stamina. I need to buy some food. Assuming that it's not open. I mean, assuming that um, the store is open. Chicks, um, Dick's Pawn Plus. Charlie's. Yeah, convenience stores are always open, even when it's late. Okay. He's gonna browse all day or what? I feel like I changed his voice. We have some cigs. All right, so what we're gonna need? Oh, some dog food. Um, and buy a sandwich for me. Buy two sandwiches, actually. Ooh, that that wasn't very financially good. Like we went from 101 to 79. I don't like that. That was that wasn't very smart on my part. Okay, let's eat the sandwich. Okay. Okay, now let's go ahead and feed the dog some dog food. Okay, where is it? Uh, it's over here. There we go. Woo, woo! Hey there, little doggy. How are you doing, girl? I brought you some food. Woo! That a girl. Uh, I, I made her. I made her sound like really aggressive. That a girl. Just come a bit closer now. Let's give dog food. What's that? Looks like the dog dropped something. Let's pick it up. It looks like the locket the, do the dog was wearing fell off. You picked up the dog's locket. Hey, I feel like that will come in handy later on. Let's go ahead and save. Over slot uh, three, it looks like. Ah, uh, seeing that money drop down. Like, I, 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 I can admit that I am a little bit of a penny pincher, actually. And the regard that like I just don't like spending money like I just like I just I just like saving stuff like like I'm not cheap like if it, if it came to buying if it came to like a choice where like I was gonna buy something or not I'm not going to necessarily go for the cheaper option I'm going to go for the longer lasting option so I'm not like a cheapster cheapskate but I am a bit of a penny pincher <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain I think this alleyway is getting is pretty shitty should I sleep here tonight let's go to sleep I'm starved half to death. No way I can sleep without a meal first. 
If I go to bed this hungry, things might not go well for me. What do you mean? I gave you so- Tire Mega needs food badly. I gave you so much food! I do not understand. I'm gonna need to put that in a microwave. See, this is what- Yo. Dude. This is why you got left, man. Freaking, you eat three sandwiches and some leftover food and all of a sudden you're still hungry? No. No, oh, that's bullcrap, man. Alright, let's go to the bacon barn. Screw it. Hey, you there. Are you talking to me? Come over here a second, would you? Is there something is there something I can help you with? Straight to the straight to the point, right. You look like a savvy investor. Have you heard about sandwich futures before? Sandwich futures? Can't say that I have. So sandwich futures are a way to invest in, well, sandwiches. Interesting. Carry on. Every day the price changes depending on market conditions, homeless shelter populations rates, homeless pop shelter population rates, and other factors. The idea is to buy low and sell high. If you're smart about it, you have the potential to make a pretty penny. Eh, I don't see the harm. That sounds interesting, I guess. Not only are sandwich features fun to own, if you do happen to get, ever get mugged, the downtrodden and low lies usually don't like to grab a stack of anything but cash. So in a way, they're also a good way to hide cash and stick to the fat cats at the bank. Thanks for the advice. Right, well I need to head off to my hot yoga class. You can buy and sell sandwich features at these handy terminals found at Bacon Barn, at any Bacon Barn. Happy sandwich investing! Sandwich investing? Welcome to the Sandwich Stock Exchange! Current sandwich features, value 17. Let's make an investment, sure. Uh, just one. 100! No, just one. Purchase order, sandwich feature 1 at 17. Confirm. Current sandwich features, value 17. Okay, let's exit. Sandwich dub sound. How many? Uh, let's buy. Okay, well, we're really cutting it close. Buy one of these. We'll buy two of these. And if you're still hungry after all that, man, I'm sorry. Like, I'm. We're already so low on food, on money. Bacon burger. Yeah, you're gonna have to chill with that, man. I need to save that leftover stew for a pinch. Seriously, man. Man, my character makes me so mad. And how can you eat? You know, three freaking sandwiches, some leftover stew, and still complain about being hungry. You're spoiled punk is what you are. You need to freaking... Ah. Okay. This alleyway is pretty shitty. Should I sleep here tonight? Should I write another page in my journal? Might as well. Gotta get it down while it's still fresh in my mind. You completed a journal page. Well, this looks like my bed for the night. I need something tasty to eat sounds like a great idea right about now. I'm starving. Looks like Patrick's paging me. Beep, beep, beep. Message from Patrick. Come to office ASAP. Breaking story. Guess you like my story in the sunny megapic megaplex. I got more work at, at, at I got more work at with the Daily News Times. Okay. Well, how's our stamina doing right about now? It's pretty low. But eh, it is what it is. You have to deal with it, buddy. This is, this is what happens when you become an adult. You learn to deal with things. You know? You accept responsibility for your crimes. You didn't really commit any crimes, but still. How's it going today? Anything new going out, on out there? Nope. Not really. I mean, there's always something new going on, technically. Everything that happens is new. Great work on that story yesterday. As promised, I got your pay ready. 100 bucks, just like I said. I hope you don't mind getting paid in cash. It helps keep the man from getting his unfair cut, if you know what I mean. Patrick hands you $100. You beat me about something urgent? Another story? We need someone right away. We received an anonymous tip about a disgruntled worker who was recently fired from the high-rung ad agency. He's a notable luminary in the ad world. An interview with him would make an excellent human interest, human interest story. We need you to go talk to him and get the facts. We need total coverage. So you want me to go and spend my day with a disgruntled office worker? I'm interested, but that doesn't sound particularly safe for me. 
no need to worry about that. The tip did say something about a box of ammo at his desk, but there's no, but there's been no word of a gun. Besides, that's what that's what the danger 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 pays for. Get this done, I'll pay you double for this. We'll even run it on the front page tomorrow. Two hundred, eh? You're lucky I need the money. So where does this guy live? That's not something you say to somebody. <laughs> He's at the Regal Regal Apartment Complex, just across the street in apartment 203. Head back here when you're done and use any of the workstations to type it workstations to type it out. Alright, wish me luck. Drug luck, Annie, the pay. You don't tell that to somebody! <sighs> what a guy. Mega, I hope I don't turn like turn into you when I get to like 23 or whatever. You said uh like an apartment complex across the street. Is this the like, when I was thinking across the street, I thought I was thinking, like, vertically, but there's nothing here. But this is also technically across the street, so maybe he means this. Regal apartment. What was the apartment 203 or whatever? What's with this music? I feel like I'm playing, like, Hotline Miami or something right now. Like, I need to load up my gun. <laughs> like, I'm like, <laughs> are you sure I'm not, gonna, I'm not about to get fired at? The one with all the boxes is probably his, I think. Looks like someone's moving out. Nope. Jack's place. Oh. You're a kid. I think. He looks pretty young to me. Um. Let's see here. I don't I don't know what voice to give him. Uh. <sighs> is there a voice to give him? <laughs> Bobby Fulf right now. <laughs> Uh, um, I'll just give him the... No, let's not give him the raven voice. Uh, okay, let's let's think about Let's think about all the voices that I gave all the characters of Long and Lumpa. Long and Lumpa. So, there's the Oda get the Terry, not, not, not the Terry Falls voice, but the, uh, yeah, the Marvin Grossberg voice. You know, let's give him the let's give him the rhyme voice. Oh, hello there. You must be the reporter from the Daily News Times. Welcome. Please come in. Yeah, I am. How did you know that? Well, I was the one who left the tip. I have a few things I need to make public. First, though, I would like to take you to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. I don't think that's how an interview. I don't think that's how an interview usually works. But sure. Have you ever worked to the bone only to find nobody appreciated it? Does the legacy of Epic mean anything in this world anymore? Of course, but not all appreciate it. Does the legacy of effort mean anything in this world anymore? Nothing lasts forever. Of course, but not all appreciate it. Hmm. Nothing really lasts forever, though. Of course, but not all appreciate it. But like. The reason why I'm kind of struggling here is because I don't quite know what he means by of course, but not all appreciated. Like, is he saying, like, er, like, are we trying to agree with him? Like, when he says, of course, but not all appreciated, does he mean like, oh yeah, yeah, of course I mean it, but unfortunately just aren't just, Like, oh yeah, yeah, I mean it, but just some people just don't get it, you know? Or is it like, yeah, I, I, I believe so, but some people just don't get it, you know? Like, there's a difference there. Uh... Of course, but not all appreciate it. Nothing lasts forever. I mean... You know what? Welcome to the real world. I threw it on the ground. Well, nothing really lasts forever. Everything gets forgotten eventually. Getting praise when you can is all that really matters. Ah, I see. Without others appreciating, there's no way of knowing whether we're insane, insane or brilliant. Do you ever feel like people control you? If the best is if the best way to keep someone totally complacent is with a kind of kind of word and a smile, then how can you ever trust anyone? I feel like the how we answer these questions is going to determine something very big. I have an idea in my head, but if the best way to keep someone totally complacent is with a kind word and a smile, then how can you ever trust anyone? You need trust to survive. It's a scary thing trusting someone else, but without trust, how can we function? You need to have faith in people from time to time to get by. That's something that I've been learning in real life relatively recently. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. If we have a trust in people's authenticity, it would be very hard to function in society. If someone wrongs you, can you ever truly look the other way? 
Can a person learn to accept that sometimes you'll wind up being the prey? I mean, I don't like the way, I don't like the sound of either of these. You can't let people screw you. It's true. Like, you can't let people walk over you, right? At the same time, though, can't be on top forever. I don't like that. That just sounds too complacent to me. So, in this case, it's not so much which one I agree with, it's which one I agree with less. I, I disagree with less, I should say. So... No, you gotta fight, man. If it's a doggy dog world, then you can't let yourself be a victim. You need to take charge and show them who's boss by whatever means you can. Hmm, that's a harsh truth. I suppose some people are just victims and others are just predators. Not quite what I meant. I, I didn't like the sound of either of them. Cause like, the thing is, I feel like if we, if we go with a pessimistic option all the time, we're just gonna end up making him depressed. So, like, we have to have, we have to ignite some fire in his heart, but at the same time, I suppose some people are just victims and others are just predators. It's the way the world works, I guess. Why are some people so willing to destroy the lives of others just to get ahead with, what, just to get ahead what little they can? What drives someone to sabotage others for success? Only insecure people do that. Only smart people do that. No! You're not smart if you, you know, screw people over. Like, you know, you're not smart, you're just a jerk. Only insecure people do that. In my experience, it's the insecure folks who can't prove their worth on their own that need to climb on other, pe other people's backs to find what they want. Oh, that's interesting. I've never considered it as a sign of personal weakness before. When you see a rise in the world, are you compelled to speak up? Why do, you, why do some choose to stay quiet in the face of awf awfulness while others don't? Only cowards need defense. Are you trying to die or something? Self-preservation is important. Self-preservation is important. If we all went and put ourselves in the line for every little thing we should have, then we'd always be in danger ourselves. It's all about picking your fights. Because eventually, if you've tried to fight everything, you'll just get tired of fighting anymore and you'll run out of energy. You won't be able to do anything about anything else that comes up. Yes, I suppose. Trying to do right for someone who has their back against the wall can leave you in the firing squad sites too. Have you ever made an assumption that you wish you hadn't made before? What what can we do? Our, what can we do when our gut feelings are telling us someone that someone has devious thoughts? Um, from my experience <laughs> Uh like From my experience When you get this gut feeling that someone's screwing you over Usually, you're wrong. Usually. Like, cause like, if someone's screwing you over from my experience anyway, it's usually more than just a gut feeling, right? Like, it's like, how do I put it? How do I put it? Like, there's a difference between being smart and being paranoid, right? Like, it's okay, like, I under I believe that you should always take like, you shouldn't, like, just trust everything, just trust everything and, like, be an under- and think that everyone's going to be your friend, because that's not how things work. But at the same time, you have to understand that, you know, I believe that people are fundamentally good. Even if- not, even if there are quite a few bad- quite a few bad apples out there, I believe that people are fundamentally good, and if you go about assuming that everyone is bad, you're only going to be in an even worse position, I think. So. I'm just going to go circumstances are often misunderstood. Some people get hung up on assumptions, but I've often found that circumstances can frequently be, can frequently be misunderstood. Can frequently be understood. We never see the whole story until the end, right? I see. As much as our life experience tries to inform us, we can often be misguided by it. We assume it out of necessity only. Well, you give me a lot to think about. I apologize that this is more than a little bit unconventional. I hope you get what you needed for your article. You got what you needed for your article. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave now. There's something I need to get to get done. Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm here for you if you need anything. Yes, I'll be fine. Thanks. Thank you for asking. My only hope is that you got enough to write what you write what you've been assigned to. Yeah, I guess I could make something out of all of this. You give me a call if you got anything you want to add to this dialogue, though. Thank you, Mega. I truly appreciate your time. Goodbye. I figure, like, let's not let's tr let's not try to push him. I feel like we got an interesting story, so we got an interesting story. I think 
So let's just respect his wishes, but at the same time show some support, because sometimes, you know, a simple question goes a long way, I think. Looks like Jack locked the door. He probably just needs some time alone. Alright, let's go downstairs. Alright. Who are you? Who are you? I've never seen you before! Um... Let's see, will Monica get the Judith voice? Well, I, has anyone gotten the Athena voice yet? We'll give you the Athena voice. Hey, Mega! Shit, I haven't seen you in almost a year! Now, how are things going? It's me, Juliet! Yeah, Juliet. From Larry's party! You and Monica still knocking boots? No. We, uh, broke up. Huh? That's too bad! That book or whatever still coming along? Jesus Christ, she's asking all the questions that we just do not want to hear right now. You didn't realize it yet, did you? Please tell me you have, like, a million bucks! Or she say release it. I could totally borrow some right now! Yeah, I never finished it. What about you? What are you doing these days? Ah, uh, just put to some bullshit work doing some copywriting for a soda company or something. It was really dull. It was really dull work until all this office drama started rearing its ugly head. Some people just can't get along, can, can they? Anyway, I'm sure you've got stuff to do. I won't keep you any longer. It was really nice catching up. Likewise. All right, let's go. We got a we got a paper to write, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and write this paper. So let's go ahead and go down here. Let's go ahead and write. Well, I guess I better get this interview filed. I wonder if like this is like a personality test or something. Like which desk you choose is going to determine something. Well, I guess it, I better get this interview filed if it's going to make the paper tomorrow morning. Hmm, where to start? Hello? Meg, it's Jack. I wanted to thank you for stopping by today. You really did give me a lot to think about. I've been on the verge of making a very important decision about my life, but I want to say that you helped me come to a conclusion. My, I'm... What I fear is that the decision was whether he was going to take his own life or not, and I hope that the conclusion that he came to is that he's going to continue to live, right? Um, this could go either way, I'm not quite sure. I'm happy knowing someone else out there understands me. Please know that I truly appreciate the new perspective you gave me. I'm going to be leaving Dustown in the next few days. I want to extend the invitation to you. I know you've been looking to leave as well. You don't need to answer now, but I want you, I want you to know what you... I want you to know that you don't need to go... go uh, you don't need to go it alone. You've found a friend in me. I'm happy to help. It's the least I can do considering what you've done for me. Thank you, Mega. Well, uh, thanks, Jack. It was nice talking to you. Likewise, you know where to find me. Looks like I've got a ride. Looks like I've got a ride out of this town, San Verdano. Here I come. All right, let's go and write the story then, I guess. What a day! It's nice I was able to make a new friend. That may be exactly what Jack needs right now. Did we write the paper? I'm confused. We did write the paper, right? Uh, wait, did, did we write the paper, or... I guess we just did it automatically. Did we... Did we write the paper or not? I, I, I guess we just did. Anyway, we have 100 bucks. So let's go ahead and, uh... I think we're going to invest in some stock and buy a couple cheeseburgers. Really not living a very healthy life. But that tends to be what happens when you go through a breakup, though. Uh, let's see. Bacon Barn. Let's see what here. Let's see what we got here. Bacon Barn. Welcome to Sandwich Stock Exchange. Current Sandwich Features value $22. Ooh, that's cool. I don't want to sell just yet, though. Let's go ahead and invest some more. How many Sandwich Features would you like? Just one. Purchase order. Sandwich Features 1 at 22. Total cost $22. Confirm. Current Sandwich Features value $22. Please make a selection. Exit. Welcome to the Dovetown Bacon Barn. How many of we gonna get? Okay, let's buy a couple of these. Actually, let's buy three, four. We have 80 bucks in our pocket. I think that's good enough. 
You don't really need that much more than that for carrying money. For spending money, I think. Bacon burger. Eat, eat, eat. There we go. Now we got plenty of food. Let's go ahead and go to sleep, I guess. I don't know what else to do. Seems like things are going pretty straightforward, though. Like, I say that, but I feel like something's gonna happen that's gonna really mess us up soon enough, I think. Okay. There's a lot to do right now. <laughs> Probably not a good time to sleep. Oh, okay, so we still got stuff to do. Okay, so, uh... Yeah. Hey, uh, how about that paper that we wrote? That we were supposed to write? How about we do that, eh? I don't understand why we have, like, he just decided to just not write the paper anymore. Okay. Hey, can I, can I write? Now can we write it? Okay, um. Gotta work on the, ja on the Jack article. It really was a fascinating read. Jack certainly is an interesting fellow. He really exposed the dirty un un dirty underbelly of the ad of the ad agency world. Patrick paid you twenty two hundred dollars. Okay. Now we can go to sleep, huh? I suppose. Like I don't I don't know what else to do because I I think that's all we have to do for the day. So let's go ahead and go to sleep. We got plenty of food. Like our stamina is like pretty op right now. So let's go and save while we're at it. Actually. Okay, I feel like we should probably like actually. You know what? I want to buy a I want to buy a little bit more stock because I'm getting the sneaking suspicion that we're gonna end up losing a lot of this money very soon. So I better invest in it. Okay, welcome to Sting. Karen, how many? Let's buy three. That's sixty-six. And we have 208, so that would put us at two, um, 100 and, um, let's see, 208 minus 60 is 148, so 142 was what it put us at. I think that's good. Confirm. Okay, let's exit. Right, that's, that's how much we have, right? 214. Oh, we had 280, not 200 and, um, whatever. Let's go into save. I suppose over file three. Okay, now we can go to sleep, right? Because, like I said, I don't. I really don't know what else to do aside from that. Unless, like, of course, like this is one of those cases where it's like they say you want to, they want you to go to sleep, but in reality, it's actually the middle of the day. I'm pretty sure, isn't it? When I say that, I don't know. Yeah, like I, it's it's too, it's too bright. Like I just realized it's the middle of the day. Um, so yeah, what are you gonna do? Um, maybe we could stop by and see, like, if we can get some extra work here or something. Hey, eh, at the Phoenix. Oh, there's a sign on the door saying there was some sort of accident or something. The whole place is shut down while the police are investigating. Holy crap! So like, if we stayed there. And did like the cur um the coat check, we probably would we probably would have been in, uh, involved in that accident. I'm not quite sure if that was a good thing or a bad thing though. Who are you? What's with all these people? I'm kind of glad the kid is out. Now I'm free to do whatever I want, I suppose. You got some nerve showing up around here. I heard about your article in the paper. Big lot of help that did us. The bulldozer should be here any day now. What? I didn't know, like, I thought, like, I thought, like, I was being as factual as possible because I didn't want to, I didn't want to, I didn't, No, oh, well, I guess I just screwed some other people out of their living situation, you know? I would feel bad. I mean, I do feel bad. I would feel bad, but I didn't want to sacrifice my journalistic integrity. And plus, I'm not quite sure this is really going to do much because it's not going to really fix your situation, but I'm kind of messed up too. Okay. 
So, what are we supposed to do exactly? Because now I'm, like, legitimately, like, lost. Like, do we go check for mail? Check our mail or something? Wait a minute. How much is rent here? Open up the boxes, please. Look up inside the boxes, please. There's nothing in here. No mail for me today. How much is... We actually probably could have paid rent, couldn't we have? Okay. I wish there would be like an objection uh, and like an objective thing or something, because now I'm legitimately lost. Do I just like go to the movie theater and pass the time or something? Like that's all I can think of. Let's make a phone call, I guess. Bank card. Darkest number. Okay, he's still good. Hey, you reached the king. Let's see. I think I gave him like the uh <coughs> like the uh whatchamacallit voice. The Dr. Crab was Hey, you reached the king good times. Leave a mess and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And this viper, I'm screening my calls. Cut it out because I'm not answering. No answer. Okay. Bank card. Nation's bank doesn't support telephone uh, telephone banking yet. I really should make I really should make the switch. Actually, Nation's Bank, Bank of that's what America um a Bank of America used to be called, I believe. That was like their old name. I think, wasn't it? Uh, Larry's number. Huh, I guess he's not answering. Advanced check. Did I... That doesn't do anything. Okay, so... Do I just talk to Patrick again, or what's going on? <laughs> like, they're not really giving me very much direction as, a, as to what I'm supposed to do here, unless I just beat the game. Like, we're good now? Like, yeah, the game's over. Congratulations. No ending screen. Now I'm gonna work for a little bit. A little bit, but do keep in touch. If I need you, I'll beep you. Call me, beat me if you want to reach me. If you want to reach me, it's okay. Yeah. I guess all I can really do is just go to the movie theater and spend some time. Because that's all I can do. I don't think that I have, like, uh, enough money. Like, 200 and whatever, that's not, that's not enough to pay the rent. We're, like, a month behind, so we have to probably... I forgot how much it was, but it was definitely a lot more than $200. Buy movie ticket. Yes, please. Alright. Well, I mean, let's just see, let's just see how things are, cause like we like we sort of saw this before, but we never really got the chance to see like what it's like. We sit in the front row seats. No, let's sit in the middle. I guess we have to sit in the front row seat then. Um, what's going on? Like I can't go. There we go. All right. So, time hasn't changed. Time hasn't advanced. I don't know what's going on right now. What am I supposed to do? Do I just need to talk to everybody here? How could they do this to us? I can't believe the guys came to evict us right when I was about to beat my high score. I mean, this city is too expensive. Maybe I'll move to Salt City or something. Salt Lake City? Living in the city, you know you have to survive. You have to keep that dream alive where everything is free. Can't you see? Living in the city, you know you have to survive. Okay, I really don't know what to do right now. I'm just gonna just talk to people and see if that advances the story because I ain't got nothing else to do. You? Uh, I forgot what voice I gave them. 
No, uh, just I, we'll just we'll just give him the care of us. Oh, you know, just hanging out. Every night a full moon rise, and I have to just sit here. Okay. Can we talk to uh, whatever dude? Unless there's like a whole section of like this place that we haven't even. I need at least 500 to get my key back. Okay, 500 bucks. Okay. Do I just chill with Jack or. I guess I'm just gonna go back to Jack's place, because that's the only thing that I can think of at the moment, because I've tried everything else. I still feel like like I need to like I like I'm just picturing I'm expecting people to come shoot at me or something. What was that about? Huh, what's up, Jack? Hey there, Mega. I'll contact you when I'm ready to get you head head to beaten. Okay. Oh, I don't think anyone's home. You don't think? Oh, okay. I think I know what this game is trying to lead us to. Never mind. Huh? Hold on. So, yeah, I don't think anyone is home. And these both lead to the same place, right? Like, it's the same thing. Okay. Never mind, I, th I thought I knew what this game was leading me to, but I, I don't. Is there, like, an, ob an objective thing or something? Uh, I'm so lost. I don't know what to do. Cookie Factory. This kind of scares me a little bit. What's going on here? What? This th these aren't cookies, man. These are not cookies. <laughs> oh man. Oh no. That's a nice looking dog. Hundred for the mutt. No questions. No thanks. I don't know what you're doing, man. This is some really shady stuff here. Uh, no thanks. Don't waste my time. It's not even my dog anyway. Why am I selling you? The heck? Freaking cookie factory. Get out of here. We're gonna cook him and eat. Oh, the dog's following me. Is that what's happening? Is it? Is it following me? Charlie's. What else is there to do? Like, I am so lost right now. I tried calling. Just a grocery store. Can I, I? Are you sure I can't go to sleep? Just let me go to sleep, man. Like, cause I, I, I tried everything else. There's a lot to do right now. Probably not a good time to go to sleep. Vagabond dog. Hi. Hi there, name's Nigel. Do you work here? Uh, no. I just kind of walked in. I've been, I've been looking for guys that run that, that run this place. I heard they they got a neat, neat little game idea they've been making. Yeah, I can't I can't help you with that. I'm just passing through and wandering into the, any building I can. They're probably down at the coffee shop. If there's one thing that's certain in life, it's that game developers love coffee. I mean, who doesn't like coffee? Okay, so that's what we need to do. Let's go to the coffee shop. Okay, so... Coffee shop. So, Vagabond Dog. So... Arcade... If I were a coffee shop, where would I be? Krusty Cream, like, uh, Krispy Cream. That's a donut shop, but it probably is, like, donut flash coffee. I'll uh, use the game developers. Dude, did you just see that crazy guy pacing outside? He's, he's here like every day. We should put him in the game. Invest in a sandwich. Dude, we're here every day. We should put ourselves in the game. Whoa, meta. Is that it? Dude, we can't just have a tutorial. Get to the tutorial that explains how to play the game. That's not how life works. They, they will get a message if we spoon feed them. 
all right if you say so. All I'm saying is that I might be a little more, you know, fun if people actually know what they're doing. We can get across metaphors, man. Metaphors. Uh... Okay. That's cool. So, now do we go back to the Vagabond Dog, or...? A pretty nice office, don't you think? A good work in space is key for awesome creativity, I always say. I work out of a shitty one-room apartment, so I don't really know. Well, we all got to start somewhere. Okay. And here then. I'm just gonna go in a bunch of random places. Like any good bank, this one is close for the night. Is it the night? Am I encountering some type of glitch or something, ladies and gentlemen? I don't understand. What what time is it? Save. Uh I am legitimately lost. Arcade then? Uh. Welcome Golden City Arcade. No, thank you. I'm not gonna spend 50 bucks in an arcade? What is this, 1923? No one goes to arcades in the United States of America anymore. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'd probably just have to look things up at that in that case. But yeah, I think we're just gonna have to end things off here, though. Let's go and save over slot three. And then we're going to quit, return to, uh, quit the title. And then things off here. Like, I, I don't know what happened. Like, like, everything was so straightforward and then boom, like nothing. I don't know, I don't know, maybe I just, like, wasn't paying attention to the dialogue or... I don't know. Whatever the case may be, though, it was, uh, there was still some interesting stuff that came out of that being lost section, like the freaking cookie place. That place is shady, man. We're gonna sell that dog for $100. This place is crazy. Whatever the case may be, though, let's go ahead and end things off here. So, if you like this video or this series of videos, please feel free to leave a like if you thought it was cool. Please feel free to subscribe and join Team Strawberry today. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash MegaShadowFist. I'll be sure to leave that in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and this is MegaShadowFist Mega signing out. Bye!